Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Channel Shadow Moses. I am your host Moses and today we're going to be focusing on rune farming and proper rune building. So just to get it out of the way really quickly, I wanted to touch on a good way that you can get runes, at least level 6 star runes that a lot of people I feel don't use. And that's just the secret shop. So if you go to the secret shop, and you can see I already resetted my uh, rolls, get one free refresh and just kind of reshuffles this for you. It can be anything from level one to level six runes. I've gotten pretty decent runes here. They are a bit more expensive, um, especially if you're early or mid game. I kind of save them for late game. Late game is probably when you can afford to spend $300,000 on just whatever. But also these runes are five star runes, which means they are worthless. Please do not buy them. <laughs> Only buy six star runes. If you ever acquire five star runes, please just dis oh not discard. I'll show you how to, what to do with them in a little bit, but please do not pine for anything less than six star runes. So so the only other real way to get runes that's effective is to just go to basic rune farming. You go to special dungeon, you go to rune relic. Now with farming for runes. There's two things you guys want to keep in mind. Please only go to Nightmare. The other ones, as you can see, they do not give you six star runes. These are all four or five and other ones. Um, if you guys go to Nightmare difficulty, you guys will be able to see the six star runes indicate with the blue background. Please focus only on six star runes and I cannot stress that enough. And I'll show you guys why in a second. And the second thing about rune farming is please only do it when it's either half off or there's double experience. It's the only effective, stamina effective way to really go for runes. Um, so now that you know how to get the runes, the next way, next thing is to properly build your runes. So when we go to manage runes, well, first off, actually, I'm sure you guys may have a lot of four or five one-star runes. What you're going to want to do is salvage your runes. Never sell runes. They give you about 600 gold, which as you can see is not really worth anything. Just please salvage your runes. They'll give you essence crystals or gems or whatever they're called, and that's what you need. You'll always want as many of these as you can. Trust me, you'll never have too much, ever. So, now we can go to manage runes. So I'll go to um, I'll go to a very standard and straightforward character. I'll go to Esna. So Esna is just a normal DPS, water DPS. She just does a lot of burst damage. She's squishy. She's an attacker. So with her runes, they're pretty straightforward. Maybe I just want attack and damage runes. That's all I want with her, personally for me. So I will make sure I have rage runes on her. So there are rage runes here. And it says if you have four runes of rage, you get 20% bonus attack, no matter what. So... So that's the first step. So as you can see, I have four runes of rage. So I have the 20% attack increase right there. And then this one says 5% critical strike chance increase. And all you need is two of them, two sets. So now I have that bonus up there as well. The most sets you'll need is four and the least you'll have is two. So you can always get one set of four and one set of two or three sets of two or whatever. So that's the easy part. Even though it gets a little tedious farming those runes, but that's the easy part. The hard and kind of the end game, super high level stuff is getting the proper substats of your runes. So if I click on, I clicked on my last uh, number six set, uh, slot. If I click on this, I'm still getting the extra 20% attacks. I have four of them, but these four substats are what matter. And they may not seem like it matters early on, but trust me, it makes a world of difference. Now, I've seen a couple of, um, I wouldn't, well, I'd, I'd call them mistakes. I'd, I'd sort of call them mistakes, or just at least not the most optimal way of building a character with runes, because each rune works differently with each character. And you have different, there's no, there's not many wrong ways to build some heroes, but there definitely are some not <laughs> optimal ways to build them. So I'll give you an example. Um, if I go to, let's say, Lucy, she's in the Fairy Tale event, and you want to read their skills. You need to read their skills and have a full understanding of what their skills do before you build runes on them. Because Lucy does a lot of damage. She does a lot of raw damage. And if I just wanted to give her um, critical uh, chances, she can do more damage. 
Well, that's that's not necessary. If we read her passive, it says um, she has a she has a way to make sure that her damage is 100% critical or strike penetration and guaranteed critical strike. So I don't really need to build something that increases her critical strike chance. So that so I just did something that increases her critical strike damage. That's a more safe and optimal way to build it. If I give her chance, I'm just kind of wasting it. Yes, she can get it every other time, but it's not the best way to build Lucy. I'm really going to talk about the one true way to build a character because like I said in my other video, there is a lot of different ways to build a lot of these characters. And there's no one set right way. It's how you want to build them. Just make sure the way you're building them is an optimal way of doing so. But there is one thing that this game doesn't really tell you about some of these rooms you guys are farming for. And you guys may have noticed it may seem impossible to maybe get attack on room set three. Well, that's because you kind of can't. <laughs> the way I understood this when I was doing some of the research for this video is only certain rune slots have certain substats. So, for example, I think Urza did it right. I built Urza, and I built her a little differently. It's kind of a gimmicky build, but she's multi-strike. My runes for Urza are all multi-strike. So, I wanted to make sure all my substats were as multi-strike heavy as possible. But I couldn't do so in substat or set 1 or set 2, and I think it was set 5. Because those rune slots do not give multi-stat substats at all. So I did it by doing it rune slot 2, or rune slot 3, rune slot 4, and rune slot 6. So those are the ones that give the multi strike rune slot. And that's the those are the only three slots you do it in. So I can't increase her multi strike anymore unless I got substats that were all three multi strikes. The only way I can increase it any further. Because I already have the four multi strike excuse me, multi-strike uh, rooms in general. I have the one that gives me 30% multi-strike increase, if, and that's a four set. And then I have the 100% chance for multi-strike to inflict additional damage as the other two, and I only need two of those. So that's the way I built my Urza, and that's one thing that if you are rune farming, it will save you hundreds of stamina if you know which slot to farm for and which slot not to farm for. It's an optimal way of building your character. And just be wary that every time you want to remove a rune, it costs 50,000. Not a lot, too much anyway, but if you start doing it too much, I mean, I think this is, what, 300,000 just to remove it, all my runes from one character. So the it can add up, so just don't be too um, um, <laughs> uh, greedy with it. So yes, make sure that when you're having your character, you're looking at your uh, character's abilities and making sure the runes make sense and are optimal for that character. And if you're not really sure how to build the character, maybe you're just not sure, maybe there's not a lot of guides out there for that specific character, what you can always do is, depending on if you're going to PvP, if you're doing Advent Dungeons, or if you're doing boss rushes, you might want to have different runes with different characters or even different builds for the character because all of them take a different kind of play style to accomplish. So for instance, if we want to do a boss dungeon and you have a Momo, oops, maybe go to daily rank and maybe look at some of how their Momos build their runes. This Momo, that's a very popular build. Um, if the t inflicts 30% additional damage to the target is under abnormal status. And then she, of course, has the other rune of damp crit damage because Momo has practically guaranteed crit, so he's not focused on crit chance, he's focused on crit damage. And as I'm sure his other teammates probably do something that gives them abnormal status, making his runes do more damage. So that makes a lot of sense. So you can always do something like that if you're not quite sure how to build that specific character. Looking at high level characters and what they're doing is a good way to ensure that. But you also look at their substats and most of them are fairly straight. They do add up, so just don't be too greedy when it comes to uh, removing your runes. And the last thing I kind of want to talk about, very briefly anyway, are just trigger runes. 
Trigger runes are kind of hard to farm. They're usually only available for special events, and they usually aren't guaranteed a six drop either. So you'll be getting a lot of one and two uh, trigger runes in a lot of events that go through this game. But once you're able to get a few six star trigger runes, you're gonna wanna hold on and save those for specific characters later uh, down the line. Trigger runes, I have two for Urza right now. And this is the multi-strike with the plus next to it. And trigger runes are not runes that have an effect that lasts throughout the battle like multi-strike or rune of rage that increases attack by 20% consistently they're usually only uh, the effect usually only uh, goes off during a special event or a special ability that activates so if this one says 100% chance for multi-strike to inflict 50 additional damage so this one only happens when Urza's multi-strike happens so that's the only time this event is triggered. It's a great rune to have with a multi-strike build but not much else because if I have a low multi-strike then these runes are kind of you're worthless. Like I said, that's not necessarily wrong, but it's definitely not an optimal way to build the character. And then, of course, there's enhancing the runes themselves, which can get very challenging and very frustrating, kind of the final hurdle of rune uh, builds. So let's just go to, oops, let's just go to the heroes. Let's, let's go to, um, let's go to Natsu real quick. So one thing I want to show you guys that I did not notice initially when farming or leveling up my runes is that the substats don't always increase. It's right there, it's even highlighted, they just don't always increase. So if I wanted to go from level 6 to level 7, these substats are not going to increase. And I'm sure luck will be on my side maybe? There we go, yeah. So see, none of those substats actually increased. But if I'm going from 5 to 6, they do increase. So just keep that in mind when you're building the runes, that the substats don't increase every single level. They increase, um, it, it is a set number of times. It is a set rate of times. There's some levels that don't. See, now it's 6 to 7, it won't increase like before. But um, I believe it's 8 to 9 does increase. Uh, I don't really know why they do this. To be honest, I think it's just so that every level does increase, so everyone's not too OP. But just make sure you are farming them. And, and of course, you can see right here the success rates dropped per the higher level you get. So I believe the highest ones I have are, um, I believe it is Esna's at 12. And it's only 15% success gets level 30, 13 with them. Plus, my subsets don't increase. I know I do need to do it. I just, <laughs> I just can't bring myself to do it at the moment. But 15 is the highest level, max level for the substat runes. Or for the runes level, I should say. But yeah, so that is my guide. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. And if you guys like the video, please hit like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.